in the brutal suppression of the Mau Mau uprising in Kenya, which resulted in the deaths of tens of thousands of Kenyans. For those who don't know, the Mau Mau uprising was a rebellion against British colonial rule that lasted from 1952 to 1960. The Mau Mau fighters, primarily from the Kikuyu tribe, sought to reclaim their land, dignity, and freedom from the British settlers who had taken everything from them. Churchill saw the Mau Mau as barbaric and savage and believed that they needed to be whipped into submission. Churchill's government ordered the arrest and detention of thousands of Kenyans suspected of supporting the rebellion. These detainees were subjected to torture, rape, and murder by British soldiers and prison guards. The atrocities committed by the British during this time were so horrific that they were later referred to as the Kenya Emergency. Churchill himself was aware of the brutality being inflicted on the Kenyan people, but he did nothing to stop it. In fact, he actively encouraged it, famously saying, I am not prepared to accept the position that the Mau Mau terrorists should be treated as martyrs. It's estimated that between 20,000 and 100,000 Kenyans were killed during the Mau Mau uprising, many of them at the hands of British soldiers and officials. And yet, Churchill remained unrepentant, even years later, when evidence of the atrocities began to emerge. For years, we've been taught about Gandhi's peaceful resistance and non-violent approach to fighting for Indian independence. But what we don't learn in schools is that Gandhi was openly racist towards black South Africans during his time in South Africa. In his writings and speeches, he referred to black people as savages and even advocated for their segregation from Indian communities. Winston Churchill, on the other hand, is widely remembered as the prime minister who led Britain through World War II. However, Churchill was also a staunch imperialist who held extremely racist views towards non-white people. He believed that white people were superior to other races and openly expressed his disdain for black people, calling them savages and barbarous tribes. To him, people from India were the beastliest people in the world next to the Germans. And he also admitted that he did not really think that black people were as capable or as efficient as white people. Churchill's policies led to the deaths of millions of people in British colonies, including India, where his policies contributed to a famine that killed millions. It's time we stop glorifying these men and start acknowledging their hateful views and actions towards black people. It's not enough to simply say that was a different time, as racism is always wrong, no matter the time period. We cannot continue to sweep these ugly truths under the rug and ignore the impact that these men had on the lives of black people. We need to start having honest conversations about the problematic figures in history and acknowledge the harm that they have caused. Only then can we move forward and create a better future for all people, regardless of race.